altars usually have, like they usually have more flowers and they'll have items to honor the ancestors and plates of food to do that as well. Um, so we did four altars just because it was just manageable for the club. We didn't want to bite off more than we can chew. It's someone who was dear to you, I guess, or someone, you could even do someone you've never met. I think it gives people a better understanding of how it is that we respect our ancestors. For my grandmother, I would have put mainly tamales and moles. Those are like the main things she would always make for us. I loved that woman. She died when I was in sixth grade. The last time I saw her was in January of 06. This right here is my aunt. We called her Nina. She died in 1996. I thought it would be good exposure for the club and also a good way to bridge gaps between the, in the, within the community, like within the Latino community and Cedar City. I feel like, especially we're in Southern Utah, a lot of the, like majority of the population is white, even though right now there's still a lot of like Latinos moving in, there's still, there's still like cultural boundaries that aren't, aren't understood. 